Well, this fellow, Pavel Malnikov, is unbeaten in nine contests. They say he's rough and aggressive. How good is he? Frankly, we don't really know. We're about to find out. But Eamon McGee looks as if he could be potentially world class. 29-year-old Southpaw Belfast puncher, and he does hit very hard. His record tells you that 17 wins, 15 by knockout. There's his first shot, a left hand straight into the head of Malnikov. McGee, who's being lined up for a showdown against Shane Neary, the exciting Liverpool Irishman, and that really would be a very big fight. So McGee certainly doesn't want any kind of upset here. Well, it just shows a, a measure of confidence taking on uh, an undefeated fighter. They don't know that much about That shows that you know, he has confidence in his own ability. He would just want to have a little look at this Melnikov. He looks squat and bull-like. Looks like he might be dangerous with hooks if he can roll and dip and find his way into range. Comes from Archangel. A fort up in the north of Russia that freezes over in winter. He's on a good run at the moment. Six consecutive stoppage victories. But fair to say he hasn't yet moved into anything like world class. Malnikov looks as if he's going to come at McGee. going to be right there in front of him. That looks his style. Can he ask some serious questions here of the Belfast fighter? Melnikov hasn't really been beating anybody that important, but he has beaten the current Russian welterweight champion. Stopped him in, uh, I think it was a points win actually, looking back on the record. Points win for Melnikov. Certainly coming forward, Clint, in this opening round, Glenn. Right. Yes, he's given McGee something to, to think about. He's putting him on the back foot. I'm sure McGee would have quite expected the Russian you know, not to be bothered about him. He's coming straight forward, looking to get in. And whether that makes it easy for me to get through with that countering right hook, I'm not sure. But McGee is looking for that punch. Well, he's 22, and it, he's unbeaten. And unbeaten fighters are always dangerous. He'll fancy the job, this Melnikov. He's coming forward plenty in this opening round. Right. Dave Harris, the referee, incidentally, as we come towards the end of an interesting first round. Eamon McGee looked a bit flat in that opening round. I'm not sure the Russian didn't nick it, you know. Yes, it was very close. I think I've just edged it for Melnikov. No, put on good pressure. I'm not sure McGee quite expected that but it just took a while to get ready mcgee in the green white and orange kind of skirt i suppose you'd call it seems to be the fashion with some modern fighters he's just uh, waving the cornermen for malnikov out of the ring they were just kind of dangling their arms in the ring which is why dave paris wanted them moved second round should to go a non-title fight though mcgee is the current Commonwealth champion. He's not yet ranked by any of the major sanctioning bodies. Well, Malnikov looks as if he's here for an argument. Yes, he does, as you'd expect with a, an undefeated fighter. You know, you don't know how good he's going to be or how good he's going to turn out to be. And, um, you know, he's come here with uh, plenty of motivation. You know, he wants to. To make an argument, he wants to get a win here. He's got a nearly three pound weight advantage here, by the way. Malnikov, 10, six and three quarters. McGee, is he as effective? You wonder at 10 stone, four pounds, few extra pounds on there tonight. And sometimes that can have quite a big effect. Well, there's a good counting left went in from McGee, just steadied Malnikov 
in his tracks, but McGee needs to catch him coming in, he needs to catch him with some good punches. Good stiff southpaw jab from McGee, he hasn't really slipped into gear yet. Just looking a little lethargic early on by his own recent standards. He is very heavy-handed, though. The same in McGee, who a decade ago was good enough to win a silver medal at the World Junior Championships in Puerto Rico. So there's a bit of pedigree there. And these are heavy shots, and Malnikov has to give ground if his legs just wobbled for a moment there. McGee just starting to get to him here. This is much better for McGee now. Now he's starting to push Malnikov on the back foot, landed with good punches, and a couple of them did hurt Malnikov. This is easily the biggest test Malnikov has faced. He was wobbled a little by one of those shots. But he seems to have recovered and still wants to plug on forward. That was a pretty good right hook from McGee. Well, some solid punches going in from McGee. He has hurt Malnikov, but Malnikov is still there and right in McGee's face. But McGee's round that time. And McGee setting himself for some of these shots in the second round. Yes, he really was. That's where you couldn't quite see the legs of Malnikov, but they were wobbling there. You just see him you know, just trying to grab the canvas there with his feet and just keep upright. But he was hurt by a few of those shots. Here's round three. A multi colored attire of Belfast's Eamon McGee from the Ardoin area. 29 years of age. The time is uh, not on his side to tweak the title of the old Rolling Stones track. He'll be very conscious, I think, McGee, about this Shane Neary fight coming up. I want to get this job done with the minimum of fuss if he can. Certainly doesn't want to pick up a cut or anything like that, which might threaten or delay that fight. Though I've heard no definite date for it as yet. Well, it could be interesting if Melnikov can absorb the punches of McGee. What can he do? Because he's come here with only some ambition his record though doesn't suggest he's a big hitter he's only got three knockout wins in those nine victories Glenn yes but it, you know he can if he can just keep a constant pressure on McGee if he can start getting to him not allow him to work that will look good for Melnikov he having to fight largely on the back foot here who can be a quite feisty sort of character felt very bitter the night he was beaten by Paul Burke in a Commonwealth title fight most of us thought he was robbed on that occasion later avenged that stopping Burke his only other defeat was early career in America and that was a close one too against a guy called Teddy Reed Definitely a big advantage in power for McGee here. Although Melnikov's come forward a lot, he's been picked off with counters at times, and he's not really been able to make too much of a dent in Eamon McGee. Not yet, anyway. right hand for Melnikov here and there. He's still having his successes, Melnikov, still looking to go forward, putting McGee on the, the back foot, and I think McGee 
Just needs to stand his ground more. He's the one with the power. He's quite happy by the look of it to fight this on the back foot, McGee. Certainly not having to go look at this uh, Russian from Archangel. It's a good shot from Malnikov, the left hook to the body, scoring shots. Well, he's kept himself busy in this round, and I think he's just done a bit more, Malnikov. Just a little complacent, maybe, Eamon McGee. Not in any serious way. But Malnikov's the one taking the fight to him. And as Glenn said, he might have just done enough to nick that session. Well, it would be arguable, I guess. Not much in the round. Me, I think. He's had his successes, and so has Melnikov, but no one's really become the boss. Yeah, I had it level two. A couple of the rounds quite hard to score. A couple of good shots there from McGee. He does just need to step up the tempo a little here and show this Russian who's the boss. <laughs> Clubbing right hands from the key. They really let go with that right hand. Nothing he's done so far has really discouraged the young man from Archangel. No, it hasn't. So McGee just needs to up his tempo, just keep the, the same punches going in, but more of them. wonder whether there's been a little problem of motivation for Eamon McGee going into this one. That can sometimes make a fighter look a bit flat. He's clearly got a decent chin, Melnikov. Taken plenty so far without really giving ground. And again, right hands working for him. Okay, that's a good right hand from the gate. We've seen that heavier punches this one have been from the gate, but Malenkov's kept working away throughout the round. That's surprisingly tough workout for Edna McGee, this. Matching him just about punch for punch so far, though the greater weight of punch you sense from Eamon McGee. And he had one win recently in 48 seconds over a Kenyan up in Peterborough, I think it was. He does hit hard. shot with the left hand. I just don't think Eamon McGee looks as sharp at this weight. Do you? 10-4. Doesn't suit him. No, it, it doesn't. I think that just reflects, you know, his mental attitude. I don't think he's really on top form here. You know, a lower key fight, you know, probably his mind on bigger things That's like right. the Shane Neary fight. It's a funny thing, though. The old uh, mind about life's what happens when you're busy making other plans. Can't take anything for granted. Well, he's being made to think about this, McGee. He just needs to, to try and lift himself and show a bit more devil. Certainly have to do this over the last couple of rounds. Because I think it'll be reasonably close on the scorecard at the moment, certainly not a formality. Right. Uh, that was a punch after the referee had said break. Melnikov might well claim that he didn't know what break meant coming from Russia. <laughs> well, how many words of Russian do you know except yet? Just that one. <laughs> exactly. 
might have had a bit of a problem fighting an archangel. You did fight in Russia, didn't I you? I did. My yeah. last fight was in yeah, Russia. Yeah, Al Cole. You did quite well, didn't you? Yeah. And I lost. <laughs> Safer here. Last few seconds of the sixth round. McGee looking for haymakers, but not with the timing. And he put his gloves up well, Melnikov. Making quite a few on the gloves. It's quite well schooled, though he didn't come through the old Soviet system. He's too young for that. Here's the seventh round of this. Seventh round of eight with Eamon McGee finding it fairly heavy weather. That's Pavel Melnikov. Comes from Russia. He's unbeaten, but unbeaten in only nine fights. He's only been a pro for two years. Incidentally, at the Olympic Games, our big super heavyweight, Hope Audley Harrison, is drawn against a Russian. A Russian who beat him a year ago. It's a bad draw for Audley. That let's hope he comes through it. Good luck to him and Courtney Fry out there in Sydney. Well, McGee still on the the back foot, and you know, I think he needs to start trying to move forward, trying to. Try and keep the center of the ring. Try pushing Melenkov back. I tell you what, you'll be happy this isn't being scored by three American judges. Because they love the walk forward aggression, don't they? That's right. But he just needs to get his punches off quick. I need to start being more dominant with that jab. Certainly having to think in there, Eamon McGee. the seventh round. <laughs> McGee has been in good form in recent fights, but tonight not really a great advert for his chances in a battle with Shay Neary. But maybe we shouldn't read too much into that. He's got to win this, yeah, doesn't he? He has. He's looking over the corner, just running out of ideas. A bit, McGee. Just, un, you know, he's unsure. The pressure is bothering him, and the fact that Melnikov is taking McGee's punches. Melnikov gets there with a couple of right hands. McGee, there's some heavy-looking lefts back again, though. Melnikov still charging forward on the tram lines. Becoming an uncomfortable night, this. Raymond McGee might tell us afterwards that he had everything under control. I don't know. He might. Well, Melenkov still pushing forward, still landing well, and for me doing more in this round, and just looking a bit distressed, I think, McGee. You know, a few glances to his own corner, maybe running out of ideas. You know, I think maybe his his mind's been on his next fight. You know, he's just lacking that bit of fire. He's landed with some good punches, but just not enough. And I've got it 67 all, and um, you know, all on the last round for me. Sure, McGee's corner must have sent him out saying, "Come on, you need a big last round here. You need to make sure of this." got to give credit to Melnikov here, haven't you, too? Decent effort from him, isn't it? Yes, you have. It's been a you know, strong-minded effort from him. You know, he's coming here with a job to do, try and win this fight, you know, and he's really you know, keeping to his task. You could argue that the greater quality of shot has come from McGee, but maybe the extra work rate has come from Melnikov. It's one of them. McGee not happy there, just... Melnikov pushing him against the ropes and McGee looking to hold on. He needs to get away there. He needs to start working. I'll tell you what, if he does lose this, 
McGee, he can have few complaints. Certainly couldn't be any claim of robbery. It's very interesting to see what Dave Paris, the referee, comes up with. And it still could depend on what happens in what little time we have left. Malnikov, left foot, right hand, now the left, now the left to the head. McGee almost came up for air on the far side then, looking wild himself. This is his worst performance in a long time. Well, he's trying to find some power in there, McGee. Maybe he knows the time's running out for him, and Malnikov looks strong, still pushing forward. Blood from the nose of Malnikov, that won't matter much. Still the extra work rate, maybe, from the Russian. And near it, McGee has looked a bit wild, and he's caught by two headshots. Malnikov's winning this last round at the moment, Glenn. Yes, he is. He's the busier. You know, he's the stronger. And, you know, really, McGee didn't need to be on the ropes so much. He needs to try pushing forward, looking to be impressive himself. Is Eamon McGee heading for a shock, unscripted defeat here? Again, there was a glance towards his corner, I noticed, a few seconds ago. One or two anxious looks there as well. We'll get the bell any second now, and the answer to our questions. There it goes. Now, McGee gets it, and he gets the benefit for me of a lot of doubt there. For me, Malnikov nicked that fight, but I had a feeling that uh, maybe McGee on home territory might be given the nod, and he was.